Welcome back to M. Ratthitch channel, the best place to learn table tennis. The video has the subtitle. Please turn on captioning for better understanding. John J.K. Masterclass number three. Hello, I'm Coach M. Ratthitch. Today, I will translate the Masterclass of John J.K. Lesson three. How to develop the feeling on the ball. The video explained by Jean J.K. voiceover by Coach M. Rathich. I am Jean J.K. Welcome to my table tennis masterclass. Translated by Coach M. Rathich. We are going to officially enter the basic training of table tennis. It's not just table tennis. Do anything. The hardest thing is to take the first step. The first step to playing table it's tennis. It's about cultivating the relationship between you and table tennis. To put it professionally, it's about developing a sense of ball. Then when I first started training for table tennis, my dad would teach me how to hold the racket as the first step. The second step is to train your movements. Then he came up with a method that seemed very strange at the time. Cultivate my sense of the ball and interest of motivation. That's a hanging ball. So what is a hanging ball? Just pass a cotton thread through the ping pong ball. Hang under the lamp at home. Or somewhere else where you can drop the ball. The height is set according to the different height of each person. The ball needs to be suspended approximately. In front of the abdomen. No more than arm length. Hang the ball in the air and hit it. At this time, I am holding a bet and playing ball. The whole action will be as effective as if you are actually fighting against each other. And it's very interesting. While playing hanging ball, your entire movement will be closer to actual combat. The first is to hold clapping hands. You can follow the actual game situation. Find a way to hold the racket. That is relatively comfortable for you. There are two traditional methods of holding the racket. One is a pen hold grip. One is a shake hand grip. My way of holding the racket is shake hand. Point your index finger straight against the back of the racket. Hold the paddle with your thumb and three other fingers. When some people are playing ball, the grip will be relatively tight. But my grip is relatively loose. In this way, during the long training process, your hands will not be too tired. Secondly, it will facilitate our training and competition. Switching between forehand and backhand, flexibility will be higher. You can take a look. I've been playing for nearly 30 years. There are almost no calluses on my hands. This may be because my grip is loose. Find the right way to hold the racket and racket. You can hit a few hanging balls. Feel it. You need to feel and control your own power. Keep an eye on the ball. See if you can do it. Hit the ball to the same height every time you hit it. You must know that table tennis is a small ball sport. Keep the ball under your control. Is the goal you want to practice. At the same time, the center of gravity of the body should be relatively low. You can't play ball straight up. This is faulty muscle memory. When I was playing hanging ball, what my dad pays attention to is the standardization of my entire batting action. Because when I was young, it was difficult to fix my playing movements. To put it bluntly, there is no muscle memory. Also, look at my racket. The hitting points are basically concentrated in one location, probably in the middle of the racket or a little higher. Because the racket feels relatively good here. We keep this practice. It can also improve your hit rate and batting quality. When you are practicing drop ball, you can also hit close first and then hit far. No speed required. Improve your speed under the premise of stability. The more you hit, the better. You can start with the forehand. Then practice your backhand. The method is the same, whether you are a beginner or have some basic experience. How many days do you play hanging ball at home? Your ball feel and ball skills will definitely get better. And better. 
This is the technique I used. When I first started learning football, When taking a rest after playing hanging ball, I will also practice throwing the ball. The advantage of playing ball is that it is not restricted. By the venue, you can start practicing at any time. By controlling where the ball lands, it can also improve your concentration and accuracy. To give you better control, you also need to pay attention to the maturity of the racket. Don't underestimate the ball. Blade and rubber. The material of the sponge will affect the elasticity and friction of the ball. If you are a beginner, you can choose a racket made of pure wood. The elasticity of this kind of racket is relatively small, easier to control. If you have played table tennis for a few years, already has better ball properties. You can choose some rackets containing carbon fiber. This kind of racket will be more elastic, relatively more suitable for offensive play. Rackets are different except for the material. The shape of the grip is also different. You can learn more, feel more, try more, find a paddle that suits you. This paddle in my hand. Its base blade has a total of seven layers. There are two layers of carbon fiber rackets. The grip adopts a waist cinching design. You can take a look. When you get a new bat, I will measure the weight of the ball first, then find a comfortable grip. Then use sandpaper to polish it to the feel you want. In fact, in regular table tennis matches, there is actually no limit to the size of the paddle shape can be used to play games. First of all, you have to feel comfortable holding it. Only then can we get along better with him. But there are strict restrictions on sponges and rubber. You must be registered with the ITTF to participate in the competition. And the thickness of the glue and glue should not exceed 4 millimeters. The above is the first lecture of our table tennis course. I introduced you to the racket. Understand the grip. I'll also tell you how I started practicing table tennis. Before going to the next lecture, you need to pick up your racket first. See you in the next class. The next video can be found on Pinkson Day.那我在刚开始进行乒乓球训练的时候需要将球悬挂在大概腹部之前，不超过臂长的距离，把球吊在半空中去打。这个时候，我拿着球板打球，整个动作就会像真的在打对攻一样，有效而且特别有意思。
有的人在打球的时候握板会相对比较紧，但我的握板相对比较松，呃，这样一来在长时间的训练过程中手都不会过于疲劳。二来便于我们在训练和比赛中正反手的切换，灵活度也会更高一些。你可以看一下，我打了近三十年的球，手上几乎没有什么茧子，这可能就是因为我的握板比较松。找到正确的吃拍和握板方法，你可以打几下吊球感受一下。你要感受和控制自己的力量，盯住球，看看能不能做到每次击球都能把球击打到同样的高度。要知道，乒乓球作为小球运动，让球始终处于你的控制之下，是你要练习的目标。同时，身体重心要相对低，你不能直着身子去打球，这样就是错误的肌肉记忆。当时我打吊球的时候，我爸关注的就是我整个击球动作的规范性，因为小的时候打球动作很难固定，说白了就是没有肌肉记忆。另外，你看我的球拍，击球点基本都集中在一个位置，大概在球拍中间或者往上一点的位置，因为这个地方球拍的感觉相对比较好。我们保持这样的练习，也可以。为了让你的控制力更好，还需要你注意球拍称不称手。别小看球板，球板和胶皮海绵的材质对球的弹性和摩擦力都会有影响。如果你是初学者，你可以选择纯木材质的球板，这种球板的弹性相对比较小，更容易控制。如果你打过几年球，已经有比较好的球性，就可以选择一些含有碳纤维的球板，这种球板弹性会更大，相对更适合进攻性打法。球板除了材质不同，握把的形状也不一样。你可以多了解、多感受、多去尝试，找到一个适合自己的球板。我手中这副球板，它的底板一共是七层，有两层是碳纤维。球板的握把采用的是收腰的设计。大家可以看一下，当拿到一副新球板时，我会先测球板的重量，然后找到舒服的握把。再会用砂纸去打磨到自己想要的感觉。其实，在正规的乒乓球比赛中，球板形状的大小其实并没有限制，都可以用来打比赛。首先，你要拿着舒服，才能更好的去跟它磨合。但是，海绵和胶皮是有严格限制的，必须是国际乒联注册的才能参加比赛，并且套胶加胶水的厚度不可以超过四毫米。以上就是我们乒乓球课程的第一讲，我带你认识了球拍，了解了握板，也告诉你我刚开始练球的方法。在进入下一讲之前，你要先拿起你的球拍。我们下节课再见。Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.